In this video, let's continue to solve more problems based on hyperbola. All right, here we've got the questions. Uh, question which reads like this. It says, uh, find the equation of the hyperbola with foci 0, comma, plus and minus 3 and vertices 0, comma, plus and minus square root of 11 divided by 2. You can clearly see that uh, the foci, you know, it lies on the y-axis because plus and minus 3 is a y-coordinate here. So that means it lies on the y axis which kind of uh, which of course directly tells us what what form of the equation this particular hyperbola is it is definitely the form y square divided by a square minus x square divided by b square equal to one so we know the form now now all we have to do is just find the values of a and b and uh, you know substitute it back in this equation and we also have the vertices 0 comma plus or minus root 11 by 2. So we've already got C here and we've already got A here. We just have to find B. So we know that uh, B equals square root of C square minus A square. So B will be equal to square root of C is 3. So C square will be 9 minus uh, A is root 11 by 2. So the square of root 11 by 2 will be 11 divided by 4. So let's solve this now. 9 minus 11 by 4 gives you 36 minus 11 divided by 4, which is 25 by 4. So we have B equals square root of 25 divided by 4, which is square root of 25 is 5 and square root of 4 is 2. So we've got B as 5 by 2. So we've got the B, we've got the A, that's all. This is 99% done. All we have to do now is so substituting it, we'll have y square divided by root 11 divided by 2, the whole square, minus x square divided by 5 by 2, the whole square equal to 1. Which of course is y square divided by 11 by 4, minus x square divided by 25 by 4 equals 1. So now, writing this, in the form of a simpler equation, you know, all we have to do is uh, 4y squared divided by 11 minus 4x squared divided by 25 equal to 1. Now, what we have to do is just take the LCM. So, the LCM of uh, 25 and 11 would be 275. So, it will be 11 times 25 would be 275 and 25 times 11 would be 275. So, 4 times 25 would be 100y squared. Minus 4 times 11 would be 44x squared divided by 275 equal to 1, which of course is, let me just continue here, we will get 100y squared minus 44x squared equal to 275. Just take the 275 to the right hand side, it will get multiplied with 1, and this is what we'll get. So, therefore, this is the required equation of the hyperbola in question. So the equation of the hyperbola with foci of 0, comma, plus and minus 3 and vertices 0, comma, plus and minus root 11 by 2 is 100y squared minus 44x squared equals 275. All right, so that uh, ends this problem. But before I end the video, let me quickly brief you through the problem again. So the most important thing that you'll have to try and understand from this problem is that it all depends upon how you analyze what form of the hyperbola that we are looking at. You know, for that, you need to really see the coordinates of the foci or the vertices in C if the value of C and A are on the X coordinate or on the R or are the Y coordinate. So if it is X, it will be otherwise. If it is Y, this is what the form will be. So once you do that, you'll have to remember this equation and then it's all about substitution and basic mathematics here. All right, so that ends this uh, video now. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on hyperbola. Thank you.